Various motion data sets are often recorded with different skeletal structures such as size, body proportion, and topology of the character. Our goal is to build a framework that allows us to solve various animation tasks in a skeleton agnostic manner. We propose skeleton agnostic motion embedding, or same in short, which is an embedding space that disentangles skeleton-related information from motion while preserving semantics. Plot on the left visualizes same space projection of motions on the right, which are different skeleton structures from each other. For motions that share the semantics, our model projects them to highly similar embeddings. This implies that our same space effectively captures the semantics of motions regardless of the skeleton. Addition, subtraction, or multiplication in our embedding space yield semantically meaningful and valid results. Given a search key motion and a motion database represented in a different skeleton, we demonstrate searching for a similar motion from the database. We assess the similarity between two input motions of different skeleton structure by measuring distance in the latent space. Dynamic term warping is used to handle the difference in motion length. Once our autoencoder is learned, we can immediately retarget source motion to arbitrary target skeletons by simply decoding it with different target skeletons. Our autoencoder can address not only size or body proportions, but also topology difference highlighted in the video. For example, the second character has no left toes, while the third and fourth character do not have one hand, and the fourth character also has additional spine and neck joints. Note that all the qualitative results shown in the video are tested with motion and skeleton unseen during training. Our framework affords the capability to reconstruct new motions for extra joints. We show examples of generating full body motion from only the upper body motion. After the base autoencoder model is learned, we mask the lower body and fine-tune the encoder to map this upper body only motion to reliable embedding space, which is then decoded with full body character to reconstruct the missing legs. By retraining the decoder with motion dataset that has finger motions, we can also learn to generate realistic finger motions from the motions without it. We implement a motion matching controller using three motion sources that have different skeleton structures. We first project this dataset into the same space shown on the top left. Color encodings indicate different motion sources. At runtime, we simply measure the L2 distance in the same space and user control matching score to find the next optimal embedding. The optimal embedding is then realized back to the motion space by decoding process. By changing the target skeleton during decoding, we can also morph the target's characters on the fly. Thank you.